ability to create custom fields to perfectly suit your orders is one of the most popular premium features of the order tracking plugin. This feature lets you create and name custom fields of many different data types which can then be displayed when a customer searches for their order number using the tracking form. Custom fields can also be imported and exported making them the perfect option for displaying extra information about your customers orders. To get started, head over to the Custom Fields tab in the Admin area. From here, we'll create a field called Estimated Delivery Date that we can then include in order emails and in the information displayed when a customer searches for an order. We start by entering the appropriate name and slug for the field, and then select Date as the field type. We'll add a description so that other administrators know how to use the field correctly and leave the Input Values field blank since we're willing to accept any date in this field. Next, we hit the Add New Field button and the field should be visible in the table on the right. The next thing we'll do is head over to the Options tab so that we can set this new field to display when a customer searches for their order. Scroll down to the Order Information Displayed option and there should be a new checkbox at the bottom labeled Estimated Delivery Date. Select that checkbox and then hit Save Changes. We can now head to the tracking form on the front end of the website and put in an order number. You can see that the estimated delivery date label is displayed, although without a delivery date as none was entered for this order. Finally, we'll add the estimated delivery date to the emails that can be sent out when orders are created or changed. To do that, we'll add the following line to the message body field in the emails tab. The estimated delivery date for your order is estimated delivery date. The shortcode estimated delivery date should be the exact same as the text that you entered in the slug field when you created the custom field for this to work correctly. Check out the plugin page on our website for additional information or subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with future tutorial videos for this and other plugins.